Progeria, Hutchinson Guilford. Progeria syndrome. Progeria is one of the rarest genetic disorders affecting roughly one in 20 million people. It causes children to age rapidly. We're talking gray hair, wrinkled skin, and joint stiffness before they even lose their baby teeth. It's caused by a mutation in the LMNA gene, which produces a protein called lamin A. Lamin A helps support the structural integrity of a cell's nucleus. With the mutation, a faulty version of the protein called progerin builds up, causing cells to age prematurely. It's as if each cell has a structural support beam made of rubber instead of steel. It collapses early and so does the tissue around it. Children with progeria usually have prominent eyes, thin noses, visible veins, and heart problems, often dying from strokes or heart attacks in their teens. Mentally, they develop normally, which makes the contrast even more heartbreaking. Harlequin ichthyosis. This dramatic skin disorder is caused by mutations in the ABCA12 gene, which plays a crucial role in forming the skin's protective barrier. Babies are born encased in thick, armor-like plates of skin with deep, painful cracks. It's like their body tried to build a suit of armor using concrete instead of clothing. The skin is so tight it can pull the eyes, lips, and ears out of shape. In newborns, this can lead to breathing difficulties, infections, and dehydration because their skin simply doesn't function properly. With intensive care, moisturizing regimens, and antibiotics, survival has improved dramatically in recent years, and many children grow up with chronic but manageable symptoms. Still, the condition remains life-altering and requires lifelong skin management. Fibrodysplasia ossificans, progressiva FOP. Often called stone man syndrome, FOP is one of the strangest genetic conditions ever documented. A mutation in the ACVR1 gene causes muscle, tendons, and ligaments to slowly turn into bone, forming an extra skeleton over time. Here's the twist. It's not random. Bone growth often happens in response to injury, even minor ones. A simple fall or injection can trigger new, misplaced bone formation. Imagine if every time you bumped your shin, it turned to cement. That's the daily risk for someone with FOP. It starts in childhood, typically with malformed big toes, and progresses throughout life, gradually locking the body into place. Surgery is dangerous, as cutting into muscle just triggers more bone growth. There's no cure, and most patients end up immobile, needing 24-7 care. Marfan syndrome. Marfan syndrome is a connective tissue disorder that affects everything from your skeleton to your eyes and heart. It's caused by a mutation in the FBN1 gene, which affects a protein called fibrillin-1. This protein helps your connective tissue stay strong and stretchy, but in Marfan patients, it's too stretchy. People with Marfan tend to be tall and thin, with unusually long arms, fingers, and legs. They might look like they belong on a basketball team or in a Tim Burton movie, but the real danger is internal. The aorta, the main blood vessel from the heart, can stretch and tear, a condition called aortic dissection, which can be fatal. Other symptoms include lens dislocation in the eyes, scoliosis, and flat feet. Fortunately, with monitoring and surgery, many people with Marfan live long, healthy lives. Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, EDS. EDS is another connective tissue disorder but it affects collagen, the stuff that holds your body together like biological glue. There are multiple types, but the most recognizable involves hyperflexibility, where people can contort their bodies in unbelievable ways. Some people with EDS can dislocate their shoulders just by sneezing. Their joints are loose, their skin is stretchy, and bruises show up like magic. It's like being wrapped in soft, elastic bands instead of sturdy rope. Flexible, yes, but prone to snapping. Internal issues can be even more serious. Fragile blood vessels, gastrointestinal problems, chronic pain, and fatigue. In some subtypes, a blood vessel could rupture with almost no warning. While it may look like a superpower, living with EDS means dealing with constant pain, joint instability, and fear of injury. Huntington's disease. This inherited brain disorder typically begins in middle age although symptoms can appear earlier or later. 
It's caused by a defect in the HTT gene where a sequence of DNA, CAG repeats, is repeated too many times. More repeats equals earlier and more severe symptoms. Huntington's is like a neurological time bomb. Early signs include clumsiness, twitchy movements, called chorea, irritability, and trouble thinking clearly. Over time, it causes severe motor issues, memory loss, personality changes, and loss of control over basic functions. It's progressive and fatal. And because it's autosomal dominant, a child of an affected parent has a 50% chance of inheriting it. There's no cure yet, but treatments can help manage symptoms. And research into gene silencing is offering hope for the future. Tay-Sachs disease. This genetic condition usually appears in babies around three to six months old. It's caused by a mutation in the hexa gene, which stops the body from breaking down a fatty substance called GM2 gangliocide. In healthy brains, this substance is cleared out regularly. But in Tay-Sachs, it builds up and slowly destroys nerve cells. It's like filling a swimming pool with molasses, neurons suffocate, and brain function deteriorates. Early symptoms include muscle weakness, exaggerated startle response, and decreased eye contact. As the disease progresses, seizures, blindness, and paralysis set in. Tragically, children rarely survive past age four or five. It's more common in certain populations, like Ashkenazi Jews, where genetic screening is widely used to prevent inheritance. Angelman syndrome. This condition is caused by a deletion or mutation of the UBE3A gene on the maternal chromosome 15. Children with Angelman syndrome have severe developmental delays, little to no speech, movement, and balance issues, and seizures. Despite all of this, they are often unusually cheerful, frequently laughing and smiling. That's why it was nicknamed Happy Puppet Syndrome, though that term is now considered outdated. They may flap their hands, have trouble walking, and struggle to sleep, but their joyful demeanor is striking. The gene involved is important for brain function. And because only the maternal copy is active in certain brain regions, if it's missing, the paternal copy can't compensate. There's no cure, but therapies and supportive care can help improve quality of life. Kleinfelter syndrome. This condition affects only males and results from having an extra X chromosome. So instead of the typical XY, they're born with XXY. It's fairly common for a rare condition, affecting about one in 600 boys, but often goes undiagnosed. During puberty, symptoms may include reduced muscle mass, less body hair, broader hips, breast development, and infertility. It's like the hormonal recipe gets slightly altered. The result is still male, but with a few unexpected ingredients. Many men with Kleinfelder don't realize they have it until they struggle to conceive. Hormone therapy, especially testosterone supplements, can help with symptoms, and early diagnosis leads to better outcomes in learning and social development. Kriduchat syndrome. This condition is caused by a missing portion of chromosome 5, a deletion that leads to a variety of physical and intellectual disabilities. It gets its name, cry of the cat, from the distinctive high-pitched cry babies make due to abnormal larynx development. Other signs include a small head, wide-set eyes, low birth weight, and developmental delays. It's like trying to build a house with one of the instruction pages missing. The framework is there, but key pieces are off or missing. There's no way to reverse the deletion, but children can live full lives with therapies and support. The severity varies widely. Some individuals learn to walk and talk with time. Others need lifelong care. prater willi syndrome. This is a two-phase disorder. In infancy, babies have poor muscle tone and struggle to feed, often needing feeding tubes. Then in early childhood, the script flips. They develop an insatiable appetite and will eat constantly if not monitored. It's caused by a deletion or silencing of genes on paternal chromosome 15, the same region involved in Angelman syndrome, but on the opposite parent's copy. The appetite control system in the brain particularly the hypothalamus, just doesn't develop properly. It's like having a car with a gas pedal stuck down and no brakes. The hunger is constant, and the body doesn't signal fullness. 
Without strict management, this leads to obesity, diabetes, and other health problems. Other symptoms include intellectual disability, short stature, small hands and feet, and mood issues. With proper support, many individuals live into adulthood. Albinism. Albinism isn't just about pale skin and white hair. It's a genetic condition that affects melanin production, the pigment responsible for coloring skin, eyes, and hair. There are several types, but most are caused by mutations in genes like TYR, which affect the enzymes that produce melanin. Without melanin, people are extremely sensitive to sunlight and prone to sunburns and skin cancer. Their eyes may appear light blue or even pink, and vision problems are common, including nystagmus, eye movement, photophobia, light sensitivity, and reduced depth perception. Think of melanin as the body's natural sunglasses and sunblock. Without it, the world is just too bright and too dangerous if not protected. Albinism can occur in all ethnicities and doesn't affect intelligence. With sun protection and visual aids, many people with albinism live healthy, full lives.